Hey everybody, today I'm going to go over Datum. Um, it is a storage, um, a data storage network, um, but it also has what kind of sets it apart is it has a uh, monetization factor or a marketplace for you to monetize and sell your data to businesses or sites and so on and, uh, and get paid for your data instead of Facebook and Google and everyone else making making the money off of your data. Um, before I get started, just want to say thanks to everybody who has been watching the videos and liking, um, commenting, appreciate it. If this is your first time, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, um, hit the bell for notifications, give me a like. I appreciate it very much. The channel is going really, really well. Um, let's get into data. Um, like I said, it's a it's a blockchain data storage uh, platform. It's basically made of three different layers. Um, there's a blockchain layer, and then there's the data storage layer, and then there's the uh, third layer is the marketplace for you to sell your data. It's they have an app that's uh, out for Android and iOS. I haven't looked on my iPhone for it on iOS, but I did check out the uh, the Android app. Um, I can bring up the store. Um, it's not just for for individuals. It's uh, product managers to you know reach all the users. Um, also, developers you can run your your DApps, um, store the data for them. Um, you have access to the uh, the data marketplace. Um, and then individuals, you can download the app and then you can uh, protect your data, store your data, and sell your data. Uh, the app looks pretty, really simple. There's not a lot, I mean, not to say this is a simple thing, it's just, but it's a very simple idea. There's not a lot of stuff to really go over with it. It's very complex in how they execute it, um, but it's pretty simple, you know, to take your data back um, from everyone else, control it, and be able to not just choose who uh, who sees it and who uses it, but to be able to sell it. Um, so you're the one that makes money on it. Um, it's an ER. Their to it's run um, on the uh, their DAT token is what powers the system. Uh, it's an ERC20 token, but they have their own blockchain, so they, it runs on their own network, so they don't clog up the Ethereum network. Um, they do that by using a, a bridge contract or a, or plasma and it locks their their tokens on the ethereum chain on the ethereum mainnet and then that allows you to use them on their network uh also what i found out in research in this is that uh, captain kirk um did a commercial for it which i thought was really cool because i'm a nerd and I, I named one of my kids after so I thought that was cool um, uh, individuals like I said they can control their own data what gets shared with and who um, basically uh, one of the main the the main things that, the, that this utilizes is that uh, they can utilize smart contracts on the data network now it has an interconnectivity to any blockchain not just ethereum but any blockchain that can execute smart contracts right now it's just running on the ethereum mainnet but it is adding on eos and neo um, so it will be able to to interact with those other blockchains um, but you'll be able to basically when you put your data there it will record it in you know in the chain it's immutable like who stored the data there, when it was stored, who has access to it, um, and uh, and then who bought it, if anybody buys it. So that's all recorded in there. Also, all your data is, it's not protected by a firewall like in uh, most traditional centralized data services. It's all, they put it all in one spot and they try to protect it where no one can get in, but there's always a way for somebody to hack in or get in. 
especially with governments and and other agencies creating ways for them to get through and for them to get in and back doors. Um, most of the time, when it comes to data storage, it's like they put it in a box and then they put a front door on it and they just think we have to just protect this front door. But that's how so many people can get in because it's they don't just go in through the front door. Um, whereas when you put it on the blockchain, it's basically out there in the open but it's completely encrypted so you can see it but you you, you don't know what it is you, you you can't do anything with it um basically the old way versus the new way which is one of the reasons why blockchain and uh and encryption is, is so phenomenal um her developers like i said they have built-in security privacy um saving them time and money um another thing is that uh all of the 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 data uh, falls back to the end user or the owner. So when it comes to GDPR compliance, it's not something that these uh, companies or businesses have to worry as much about, which is a huge deal um, because it's a really complicated subject. If you're anywhere in the European Union, uh, the laws are extremely strict and extremely restrictive when it comes to uh to companies um and this kind of helps that and alleviates a lot of that headache for for those companies um it has the developer quick start guide also you, you can read over the white paper i'm not really going to read over the white paper it's they're they're it's all done and over with um you know they're they're up and running here uh but do your own research it's not financial advice not a financial advisor Check it out, read over it. Um, they are uh, running masternodes uh, is another thing. Um, like I said, they're out for Android and iOS. Uh, the Here's the Google Play Store. Uh, it's got, I think, 4.2 4 stars. It looks very simple um, to use. This is on the white paper. Um, there's the app. You can uh, you earn DAT tokens for selling your data you can you know turn it on there's different uh choices that you have one is to not share with anybody just you can completely lock up your data that's it and then you can share with specific identified and known data consumers share with specific identified and known data consumers for a minimum fee and then share with everybody and then share with everyone for a minimum fee so you just like anybody can have my data for so much money um like I said, it all seems really simple. It's all very simply laid out. Um, so there's not like a ton to go over, but it, 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 it's pretty cool. Um, the main thing I think is cool is this mon is, is the simplification of the monetization. There's been a lot of, you know, projects and I've heard a lot of buzz about, oh, you know, taking control of your data and monetizing it, but the end result is complicated and doesn't really deliver. This seems like that end result where it was, this is what people really want. Everybody wants to monetize their data. Everybody wants to protect their data, but they don't want to have to go get a degree in order to figure out how to do it. Um, this is, it looks extremely simple. It's just, you know, clicking on an app and then you're getting paid for your data. Uh, they're, they don't have a link to their um, Telegram here. It was a little difficult to find. In fact, they have one that's not English, so that threw me off. But I did find their Telegram. It's actually huge. Um, it's called like a. I'll, I'll look it up. It's called a official datum. Let me look it up. Official datum network, and there's fifteen thousand members, so it's pretty big. Um, their Twitter, though, they do have a direct messaging set up on their Twitter, which I don't, I don't even remember the last time I saw that on any project. Um, so you can message them straight there, Facebook, Reddit, uh, Steam, Medium. Um, if you have any other questions, uh, you go ahead and, and, and send me a, a message or hit me up in the comments. I'll reach out to the team or you can head over to their Telegram or their Twitter, like I said, and send them a message there. You guys take care, and I'll see you in the next video.
Oh,